I grabbed five artists and a thousand Sharpies. You guys will have three hours to make art with nothing but Sharpies. Whoever has the best piece has a chance to win up to five grand for a random subscriber. But you guys can't just draw anything. I have topics for you guys. Uh, uh, building? <laughs> Drawing buildings is probably my weakest thing. Ben mentioned what he was gonna do if I beat him in today's challenge. No, I did not mention shit. What did he say? He said he was gonna go bald. Screw it, I'll shake on it. If you get a higher score than me this video, I'll shave my head. I hope yeah. not. Wait, that doesn't mean I have to shave my head though if I lose. No. <laughs> I hope it's just stick figure. Food. I love food. Give me a good one. Cartoon. That's not bad. I better get something really cute. She's a random one. Dragon? This is not my thing. Let's trade. <laughs> bear. I love a bear. We lost. Your three hours begins now. Okay. I'm throwing in the white flag. Yeah, I'm gonna do an electricity dragon. I hope I have time, but you know, I'm pretty slow, so we'll see. I could do Zach's original characters as cartoons. It's Minecraft cartoon. Nope. Today is gonna be a great day. Back in school, I used to draw with Sharpies all the time. I always used to bring Sharpies to class and draw my pieces of paper. I remember all the students would always come to my desk and for a couple minutes I felt popular. And then reality kicks back in. Dude, what the hell? I can't do that. Hi right, Ben. Last week, I just had a lesson with you on buildings. Do you want to know how disappointed I'll be if you lose? And I literally gave you all my knowledge. Guess what? Your knowledge went through this year and right out the other. I think I'm gonna do turkey and bun bun on top of shrooba. I'm just gonna make it work. The worst thing is we're using Sharpies and we're not using pencils, so I can't even sketch out my building. I just have to go straight on with the Sharpie. So my confidence went from here all the way to down here. I got the topic of food. I think I'm gonna draw pizza. Am I doing too much cold brew? My hands are shaking. And my red panda looks stupid. Oh, Michelle, that's so cute. I don't like it. What do we think of this so far? I thought this was pretty good. good. You don't have a base. How okay. do you know if like, this thing's gonna be parallel to this? I don't know. I might not even need to shave my head. I'm just gonna pull out my hair by the end of the video. Ben didn't listen to my instructions. Look at how mad I am. This time, I'm actually gonna map everything out, just like Zach says. Throughout this challenge, I actually have a couple twists. Them. Let me introduce the first twist for the day. At any point during this competition, you can grab me to help you for 10 minutes. All right, Zach, I want you right now. I want you next! This is my opportunity to completely school Ben over here. I think you look good bald. Ben, what if you go bald? You just bald want to rub my head, don't you? Start up the timer. Let's do this. Okay, Ben, let me get these shapes down for you real quick. I can feel the adrenaline rush. This is so fun. Yeah, I think there's a pretty good base over there. Ben, I believe in you. This already looks way yeah, better. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. That was exciting. Michelle, do you want to crack my back real quick? Watch this. I did this cute little sketch. I kind of want them to like pretend they're on like a nice little picnic kind of thing. We're going to start with a big mushroom head. It'd be cute they're like lying down like that. And there we have it. It's turkey and bun bun on a date on top of shroomba. I made it a little bit more dynamic just so it has a little bit more life. Hey, I just finished drawing the cutest freaking eyeballs ever. Look at his eyes. Oh my god. It kind of looks like my dog. <laughs> That's a good thing. Ooh, the eyes are different shapes. The right eye is bigger than the left. Let's take off points. Take off points. Bruh. Everyone, we are going to start with our first First mini challenge. Grab a piece of paper and everyone put on a blindfold. You guys have 60 seconds to draw my portrait. Whoever gets the most accurate portrait wins. Go. Mimi. Oh, ah! Mimi. Someone is touching me. And it better be Zach. I would say my biggest competition in this video is probably David, but I wouldn't be surprised if Jake created something that was very good because he throws a curveball sometimes. But. Three, two, one. Stop what you're doing. Take off your blindfold. <laughs> Let's take a look at David's. Oh. I don't know about this. That's what that's for. Jake. Not too bad. Michelle had some of the things in the right place. Hold on. No, I really, I really, I really Okay. Not too bad, Vinny. I have a very wide chin. No way you actually did this. That's very good. I think I'm going to have to give this one to Ben. Michelle had kind of odd hair. Yeah, because I couldn't see it. Ben, so for your advantage, you get to choose one person and make them restart. Oh, I don't even need a look, David. Oh. Ben, you may take ben. his piece. It's okay, you could fix the eyes. Then. Oh yeah, I'm taking David's, what the heck? David's was really good. It was really good. Who says I should rip it? Don't, 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 don't. Can I get like a rip it chant? Rip it, rip it, rip it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> you can tape it back together. Ben is brutal. And if that was mine, probably would have thrown a tantrum. Well, when I ripped up David's art, it felt great. Everyone else is a traitor. David, okay. since you have to restart, what is your plan? I'm just gonna draw it again, but faster. All right, you should just draw a cheese. No, Vinny, no. So after taking a look around, I think Ben's is looking pretty good. I can actually tell that he's been paying attention and using some of the techniques I taught him. If you can hear me, I'm actually pretty proud of you. Hey everyone, hey, there are losing punishments. So if you lose, I get to draw something on your face. With Sharpie. Oh, no! Vinny, how are you doing here? I think I spent too much time on the cheese. If Vinny loses, I'm gonna draw a rocket ship on his face. Huh? You want me to help you out a bit? Yeah, if you could add some stuff, that would be fantastic. I was gonna add a nuclear power plant in the back. Oh, Were you joking? Know. Just because the cheese is real bright, it looks like it's radioactive. Do you want to sketch out what you envision this to look like? Because I am not following. <laughs> you know, what on? Ben, are you Whoa! seeing this? <laughs> what is this? That's my favorite type of pizza. Zach doesn't look too happy doing this. Can you draw an Italian chef in a hazmat suit somewhere in there? You can't keep changing it while I'm drawing it. No, no, okay, no. minutes up. Thank you, Zach. Even though he helped me with almost everything, I still learned. <laughs> Wait, Jake, how are you gonna use your help session? Uh, I think I might have you help in the end add detail. It's a really big video for me and Zach. For me personally, because I wish I was drawing, so if I lose this drawing challenge, it's gonna be kind of embarrassing. Ben, ben I would say so far you are not disappointing. Cool. Just a quick lesson, if, if you look at a lot of like movies, a lot of the times it's all black and white, they have a, like a little bit of a hint of red. Sometimes that really pops out. Michelle, yours is looking so cute. It's Good cute. job. Good job. If you guys don't know already, Michelle's my girlfriend. Oh. Oh. Look at everyone so focused, not even knowing oh. what's about to come. All right, everyone, you guys have an hour, 15 minutes left. Oh. I spent too long on my cheese. I have the second challenge set up for you guys. So everyone grab 10 Sharpies and come outside. Here's how this challenge is gonna work. You guys each have 10 Sharpies. Whoever gets the most Sharpies in their bucket wins an advantage. So David, you're first. Okay. Nope. Kobe. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. That was terrible. <laughs> what if someone bounces their Sharpie and it goes into another bucket? Too bad. Ben, you're good at basketball, aren't you? This is not the same thing. You may go. Nope, Kobe. Nope, Kobe. Nope. Ah! Ben got seven. Hey, hey, hey. Both feet against the wall. Hey, nope. <laughs> One, two, uh, three. Nope. Four. Nope. Ben's banging your head. Say cheese. Cheese. Nope. <laughs> All right, Jake. Why am I shaking? <laughs> nope. Bounce it. No. Oh! 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 Michelle, seven's the number to beat. Wait, I want to try it too. If I make more than Ben, you guys all get punished. No. Oh! Oh! No, no, no. Damn it! I'm so mad. We'll work on the jump shot. Ah. I was actually low-key nervous because when it comes to mini challenges, I suck. Today's just my lucky day. Man, you got yourself an advantage. You get to select two people and move 10 minutes from their total time. So they have to end 10 minutes early. Shoot. Okay, come on, David. Okay, so I think Jake is safe. Why? He's not gonna finish regardless. Yeah, like look at him. Jake's going so slow. If Vinny does beat you for some reason, you're gonna have to shave your head. Michelle's looks really good though. You should go for David twice. David's getting 10 minutes taken off his time. You know what, Michelle, you're safe, Vince. 10 minutes what? taken off your time. What the I'm not heck? shaving my head today. I gotta take extra precautions. Oh, bro. Still shaving your head. Not if you don't beat me. Whoa, David, you recovered. I know, right? <laughs> so remember that when you're judging it. Taking a look around, it looks like my friends have made pretty good progress, but my buddy Jake over here. He's done the eyes, teeth, and mouth. Jake, there's no way you're gonna finish. Who are you thinking you needed help with? Well, primarily everything, just because I need to finish, but just do all the scales. Oh dear. Jake did not put me in a very good position. Luckily for you, one of my strengths in art is speed. All right, Jake, I helped you as much as I could. Thank you so much for your help. I love you. Now out of my seat. I'm not sure if I can even help you at this point. I feel like you have most of it done. And this is what my piece is looking like so far. I'm pretty proud of how I did the details. It looks like my friend Vinny's stressing out a little bit over here. I think I bit off more than I could chew here. You can sign your piece. I don't want my name on this. Vinny, David, stop what you're doing. Time is up for you guys. Everyone else, you guys have 10 minutes left. I have about 10 minutes left, so I'm gonna go in with this white pen and add some little tiny white highlights. A lot of them are looking pretty good, and one of them could have used a lot more work. I'm not 100% confident that I'm going to win. I do think I have a good chance. 
And I think this is going to be a pretty close call. There are quite a few very good ones. So I really don't want to eliminate Michelle. She looks so happy with her piece. She's my girlfriend, so I'm always rooting for her. But we kind of got to drop the hammer here. One minute. Wait, can I add one thing? Can I sign it? Sure, you can sign it. Yeah. All right, Michelle, I'll let you count down from five. You can go as fast or slow as you want. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay, time's up. You counted a lot faster than I thought you would. Yeah, what the hell, Michelle? I'm not gonna lie. I think my piece is probably the best one. First of all, good job, everyone. I think you guys all did a very nice job. Ben, why don't we start with you? For my topic, I got building, which I was very nervous about because my weakest things are buildings and perspectives. But then I took all the tips that you taught me and I made like a little castle. I like the little red details over here. I think it makes it pop. This looks very nice, Ben. I'm very proud of you. Right, good job, Ben. Vinny. There's a lot of cheese going on here. I didn't finish the background. This isn't a finished piece. But I thought the pizza turned out fine. Your drawing is very random. Yeah. Nice try, Vince. <laughs> Michelle, that looks so cute. This is Turkey and Bun Bun having a picnic on Shroomba. I like how you did the trees. That was the only thing I didn't get help on. I'm scared of your critiques. I, I feel like you could have added some highlights on Shroomba. It does look pretty flat. Good job. Jake, tell me about your piece. I got dragon, but you know what? It looks pretty damn good. It looks really good. It looks what? really good, Jake. <laughs> this is my electricity dragon. Everyone else's pieces, they kind of got their main thing in the middle, so I wanted to be different. I do think you had very nice technique with your Sharpie. Probably utilized the white pen better than anybody, in my opinion. Good job, Jake. <laughs> David, Zach. tell me about your piece. Okay, so I got the theme of bear, and I did a really cute red panda bear. He's a Libra, and he has a flower crown, and he's inspired by bacon. This looks just like my dog. <laughs> One of the really big reasons I like this piece is you have a couple portions that are like done messier. Yeah. And it draws attention to like the eyes and nose and stuff. He's playing off the purposely messy thing. Mine was destroyed so I only had half the time as everyone else. All right, well, very nice, David. You guys all did really well. Now it's time for judging. Coming in fifth place, we have Vinny. Ben, you don't need to shave your head. I know. Vinny, where would you like your rocket ship? I hate this. Give What's it up for Vinny. In fourth place, we have my lovely girlfriend, Michelle. I would like a mustache, please. I would have rather oh, taken a mustache. Sir. Coming in third, Ben, Ben, Ben. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to say goodbye to Jake. Why me? Jake, what would you like? I guess a unibrow? <laughs> no. Comment down below. David should have lost to Jake. For the final decision, I'm going to let my subscribers decide. Uh, no one's gonna like a building. Give a close up of David. Jason's kind of salty right now. Jake is always up being a little bitter boy. We have a couple votes in right now. Win or lose, I think yours looks amazing. Here are the results. The winner with a total vote of 73%. Ben! Today we will be making art using charcoal. Yeah! Whichever one of you makes the best charcoal art in three hours gets to split up to five grand with a subscriber. Yay! Everyone look up here. You have one minute to grab your supplies. I'm feeling pretty confident going to this challenge. I am not super confident going into this challenge. Hey guys, there's stuff down there if you want. I will trade with someone. Everyone has grabbed everything. Everyone, we are gonna start off with the plot twist. You guys know how I said today's video is gonna be very interesting? Yeah. Well, over here, I have a random animal generator. Yeah! It's yes! Gonna, it's gonna give you two animals. Give me a dog! And you're gonna need to make a hybrid. So right now it says walrus and snake. Jake, I'll give you the option to take it or press another one. I'm gonna keep it. You're gonna keep it? All I'm right. gonna keep the walrus, walrus snake. snake for Jake. Wait, that's basically a dragon. I'm hoping sick. for a bunny bird man. Mix. You get a reindeer or an argali. You know what? I think I can make it work. I can make the reindeer and then use the argali horns. You can either take a starfish crocodile or you can try again. Oh, frick it. You get a chimpanzee jaguar. <laughs> oh my god! You're stuck with a chimpanzee jaguar. Yeah, I can make that work. Lizard and snake, lizard and snake. Lizard and snake? Yes. What the hell? Owl, dad, no, and no, Puma. No, 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 no. We, we refresh what? that. that good. <laughs> He gets an argali and a fawn. So cool. 
I am not happy with the animal combination I got. I don't even know the other one's name. Also, everyone look about the clock. You may use reference until there's two hours and 30 minutes left. What? Okay. It was definitely pretty risky, but I'm happy that I kept my choice walrus and a snake. I have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to win with cuteness. Ben is definitely gonna be my biggest competition when it comes to 2D art. He is very good. I mean, it's a drawing challenge, so that's my specialty. Since we lose reference at 2.30, I'm just gonna draw a bunch of references on the sheet over here. Ben, that's a great idea. I think I might just go with the cartoon version. You guys, look up. In eight seconds, you can't use reference anymore. Six seconds. Oh, no more references. No! All right, let me take a look around. Looks cool so far, Ben. I like the pose. One of your favorite pieces that you've ever made was during the ballpoint art where you made a zombie dragon. You can make like a zombie version of this. Oh, a chimp wearing a Jaguar. Do you think you're gonna go for like a cartoon look or do you think you're gonna go for like a... No, it's gonna be more like a cartoon. Okay, so I have two options. We can either do a cute version, you see it, mm -hmm. or a scary version. You're thinking like best chances of winning, right? Yeah. If you turned your animal combination into like a cartoon, like Pokemon type, made it your own character, I feel like that could have a pretty good chance at winning. Interesting, okay. I copied Ben. I heard him say that he was drawing out some references, so I did the same. I'm not ashamed to admit that. So I think I'm gonna go with like making the face more of a walrus and having more of a snake body. And for the environment, you're thinking like a branch? Just a branch or something. Dang, Ben, you already have so much down. Just curious, what's your experience with charcoal? Did you do this like back in school? Yeah. I did this in high school. From what I remember from using charcoal is you want to work from darks to lights. All right, everyone, in front of you, you should have a blank sheet of paper and a piece of charcoal. Yes. We're gonna see who can finish up the charcoal the fastest. I'm not good at this. I'm gonna come take a look around. If you have large chunks, it doesn't count. Raise your hand when you think you're ready so we can see who finished first. Three, two, one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ball start, flip it around. Three, two, one, go. What are you doing? All right, you can't have chunks. How are you gonna get rid of the chunks? Oh God, this is not a good idea. Though I still see chunks. What am I supposed to do with all these chunks? Oh my God, what do I do? What are you doing, Jake? Does this work? Why are you putting water on it? What are you doing? He's dissolving the chunks. This is not a good This challenge. is just... Disgusting. I like Michelle's way, the, the clean traditional way. I think everyone thinks they're thinking outside the box, but it's just really messy. Is this chunk enough free? Get rid of all these yeah, side chunks and it's hand. good. It's all on your hand. Get rid of these. Bro, she's holding all the okay. chunks in her hand. Is this uh, junk free? Sure, why not? Mackenzie finished first. Uh, I'll give you guys 30 more seconds. If nobody finishes, I'm gonna see who has the most left. It's probably me. Actually, Jake might have more than you, Michelle. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, stop. Let me just see how much you guys have. Okay, okay. You guys, put it next to each other. Okay, I think I'm gonna need you guys to share the punishment. Uh, you guys have both did equally poorly. <laughs> Mackenzie, so first things first, here's your advantage. Choose one person and take away one tool. Let's do the needed eraser. Did you need it? No. All right, Ben, for the rest of the challenge, no needed eraser. Dang. I took away Ben's needed eraser because I feel like he's the only one that knows how to really use it. Michelle and Jake, you guys have to share 500 jumping jacks. No! Jake and I have 500 jumping jacks, so maybe we'll do 250 each. I'm saying maybe because I don't know what will happen. If maybe you don't want to do 250, if I'm going fast, then I can maybe do more. <laughs> if you watch my video, you'll know why I look like that. It's really hard to hold in a fart when you're doing jumping jacks. <laughs> this is the most jumping jacks ever on the Crash Channel, I think. I know, 500! At least I feel like my calves are getting huge. Yeah. Check these puppies. Doesn't seem like Jake and I are winning this thing. We still have 150 more push-ups to do each. Jumping jacks. Uh, and both of us have not started on our piece yet. The jumping jacks are hard. At least I didn't have to do all 500 myself. My calves are burning. Oh my gosh, I wish I could take out this dress. Finally, after an hour and three minutes, I'm about to start my piece. We'll see if I can finish in less than two hours. Oh my God. All right, everyone, one more twist. At the very end, the winner will get to do charcoal drawings on the loser's cheeks. Aww. And the winner will get to pick the design. I want a mustache. Michelle already has a mustache. She can add to her collection. Why does it look sad? Because it is sad. It doesn't want to be a monkey chimpanzee. <laughs> if you're going like purely cartoon, the, the pencil might be a good tool. You just started? Yes, that charcoal challenge was very long and also 250 jumping jacks also takes a pretty long time, if I'm being honest. I did not like that first challenge at all and honestly, I think Mackenzie cheated. You have some catch up to do. <laughs> all right, everyone, grab a piece of charcoal and come with me. Uh, 
I'm never gonna finish this. Grab your pencil and sit in front of a piece of paper. All right, Mackenzie, put this on. You will attempt to draw a perfect circle blindfolded. And I'm gonna see who has the best circle. It needs to be somewhat large. It can't be like tiny. Go for it. Wait, Pens. Pens. you started, Jake. you started. Jake, watch out. Bro, what do you mean you're, what Bro. are you doing? <laughs> okay, okay, lift your blindfold. Interesting. I was trying to be a human compass, but you were in the way. <laughs> Let's make this quick. Okay. <laughs> oh! Michelle has the worst so far. Oh, that is really bad, Ben. Honestly, I thought drawing that circle was gonna be easier, but I mean, I guess it wasn't. Wait, I'm just curious how hard this is. Let me try. Oh, hey, at least it kind of connected. That was actually a little harder than I thought. This is between Jake and Mackenzie. Actually, Jake's is rounder and just looks a little nicer. Of course I can draw a circle blindfolded. I mean, that's the easiest thing in the world. Here's what's gonna happen. You and a friend get to use references for another 15 minutes at any point. Me and Michelle, look at us with our mustaches. We did 500 jumping jacks together, so. So you pick Michelle to use reference as well? Yes, I think Mackenzie and Ben will be fine either way. So at any point for the rest of the channel, you guys can have 15 minutes with reference. Thanks, Jake! You're welcome. Jake is being super nice. My piece is not looking so great right now. I think there needs to be a challenge where someone wins and gets to light Ben's work on fire. I've decided that I'm gonna use my reference advantage to get the eyes perfect. I am currently using the 15 minutes of reference because I need it. No, probably not. Look, isn't it cute? Maybe cuteness will prevail. I think my piece looks really good, but I think Ben's is also looking very good. I'm not sure if mustache gang is gonna prevail. I'm really far behind, guys. A little monkey jam. I'm gonna call you Puka. Recently I've been finishing my art pieces, but today it seems like I'm going back to my roots. I'm not gonna finish. Jake, that looks really nice. I know what you're gonna say, but yeah, I know I'm not finishing. I already told the viewers. I am going to lose this challenge. Michelle, why are you writing random stuff on the side of your art piece? I'm planning my Pokemon snake. I like it. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces I've done. Very interesting, Ben. This is gonna be a tough decision. I'm scared of Mackenzie's. I just need more contrast because if you look at it, the grays mm -hmm. all kind of blend in. See this? Right now it's kind of faded. Maybe you could make like certain parts a little bit more bold for contrast. Oh, it's nice. All right, everyone, come outside. Artists, listen up. For this mini challenge, we will be doing another type of charcoal art. Each one of you guys has a piece of charcoal and you guys will each be doing a mini carving out of it. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm very curious. Why don't you grab your tools? You guys have five minutes. Ready, go. Five minutes and something this small is not ideal. I think I'll just write some calligraphy. I am just doing a heart because five minutes is not a lot Shoot, of time. That is nice, Michelle. This is not turning out good. Help! Three minutes left. I wrote, I love ZHC. Okay, one minute left. No! Oh, what happened? Mackenzie's heart just broke. And time is up. Everyone, let me take a look. Ooh. I don't know, but it's a chimney with bricks. It's the heart. It seems like there's a crack in the heart. Wait, can I, can yeah, I take a, a look? Yeah, it's a broken heart. I said, no, you don't need to touch it. I wrote, I love ZHC and a dragon. Do you like the dragon? I was about to give you the dough, and then I saw the dragon. This is a tough decision, because these are all not great. Guys, everyone lay it side by side. I need one more look. Jake, yours did not win. What? Oh, Michelle, not this. I'm not quite sure what Mackenzie was going for here. No, I'm just kidding. I, th I think I have to give this one to Mackenzie. Ben's was awful. What do you mean? <laughs> Guys, to be fair, all of them were not great. All right, Mackenzie, choose one person and end their time right now. Do I be mean? <laughs> No, Ben, you're done. All right, Ben, you're done with the challenge. Everyone else, you have about 20 minutes left. You get to work. There's 19 minutes left in the challenge, and Mackenzie chose to end my time right now, so I am done. Ben, what are you thinking about Mackenzie's piece? I'm actually kind of nervous because hers actually has high contrast with the white background, and it has very cute eyes. I think it looks really good for what you have. It's just missing the other half. All right, everyone, three minutes left. I like how my piece is turning out, and I have a little bit of... Uh, no, you're done, Bane. No, can you, Michelle, can you add a white dot right there? No, you can't, Michelle. Jake was like my one friend that really crammed last minute for the test, but still got a decent score. 10 seconds, everyone. Oh yeah, baby. Two, one. All right, time's up, everyone. Good job, everyone. Woo! 
Hey Ben, let's take a look at what you got. The two animals I got were an Argali, which is like a goat animal, and then a fawn. I have a fawn tail and Argali body with an Argali head. Well, that's a skull. What's this like spirally uh, stuff this is here? This is just smoke. Looks like a pretty nice overall piece. I like the composition. Very nice, Ben. For my piece, I got a jaguar and a chimpanzee. I kind of have like the chimp face kind of outline. And then I have like the wrinkles and eyelids from the chimp. This part is like not fur to kind of show like the chimp's hands, but okay. I, it would look too weird if it was like chimp hands. So I kept it as paws. They're just kind of like shaved paws. I like how you and Ben took completely different approaches. Ben went scrappier, like smudgier, uh, like look, and you went for like completely <laughs> clean. I think I can say this is your best non-reference piece. I'm hoping oh cuteness prevails. I honestly think it's gonna be pretty close. Mine is an Argali and reindeer mix. What are your thoughts about this piece? Are you happy with this piece? 60% happy with this piece. 60% happy. Yeah. This is a Pokemon. The name is called Ram Deer. It's a grass type Pokemon. Right, I like the backstory. I like the creativity and stuff. Probably would have given it like a little bit more features here and there. Horns or it could use a little bit more of like a unique design. I really don't think it's <laughs> a strong piece of yours, Michelle. It's all right, Michelle. Here we have a snake walrus. It's actually not a floating head. It's just someone took a picture from it like straight on. The body is just in a straight line back. Are you sure the person drawing this didn't just run out of time? The person drawing this has a mustache that's beautiful, but that's besides the point. But we have like a snake type head, but it's mostly walrus. Mm -hmm. The body is a snake, but again, you can't see it because it's straight on. The body is straight back. Yeah, Jake, I, I feel like your design was very nice. It's, it's very creative. I, I really wish I could have seen the body that you designed. Do you think you you have a chance to take the dub? I think I have absolutely no chance of taking the dub. I think maybe, depending on the judging style, I could potentially get maybe one vote, but that's about it. All right, everyone, put your pieces down. We are going to let some random subscribers vote. Woo! We are gonna play a game of sudden death voting. So I am thinking of two numbers from one through four. Two. Three. Four. It was one and two. So Michelle and Mackenzie, you two are going head to head. I am asking a random subscriber which one they like best, Michelle's piece or Mackenzie's piece. Between Michelle and Mackenzie, the person moving on to the next round is Mackenzie. Sorry, Michelle. That means you have been eliminated. I expected that. Okay, I thought of two numbers. One through three. Three. Two. two. Um, somebody needs a one. One. Two and three. No! Okay. I just asked another random subscriber whether they liked Jake or Ben's piece more, and the winner is gonna move on to the finals. The contestant moving on to the finals is... Ben! Ben and Mackenzie, congratulations. You two are in the finals and a subscriber is gonna be casting their vote. Not gonna lie, I probably would have gave these two pretty similar scores. They both have very nice things about them. Honestly speaking, I might give the slight edge to Mackenzie, but a subscriber is voting. Michelle, since you're all dressed up, why don't you come up over here and I'll have you announce the final result. The winner of Tarko Art is... Ben! <laughs> So nervous for that one. Close. Ben, congratulations. Thank you. Mackenzie, like I said before, my vote doesn't change. I probably would have given you half a point higher if I were to be honest. Ben, you pulled through, took the dub. Do you have anything to say before you try to win some money for you and a subscriber and trickle everyone? Thank you, everybody. I love you. One of you guys is going to win some money. So subscribe, and now we have some charcoaling and money winning to do. <laughs> okay, I'll give you some football marks. Awesome. <laughs> Michelle, you look so pretty. Really? Yeah. Oh, then I like it. Whichever one of these four artists makes the best portion of me wins five grand for their sibling. Whoa! You have five hours. The time has officially started. For your references, you have five minutes with me. Oh. So in the previous video, we all did training. Michelle was dead last. Ben and Jake were tied for third. David came in second, and I won but I'm not competing today. I see Zach every day. I think I know what his face looks like. But in the last challenge, I didn't do so well. Ben's probably just gonna do a mediocre portrait and then draw a dragon to make up for it. Did you see your character shirt of Zach in the school video? It was beautiful. Wait, these are really- I'm scared to start, oh my god. How do you think your students are gonna do today? Um, I'm really rooting for Ben because yesterday I feel like he felt horrible after. What about Michelle? She's a serious underdog here. I heard her saying that she sees your face every day. That does not matter. I think I struggled in the 
training video because the other artists are just way more talented. But today, I have more time to work on my piece. How is everyone? Help! Help! <laughs> Don't go into any detail until you have the big shapes. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> so far, it's good. Go a little further for me to judge. Whose base looks really good? Probably Ben. Ben, how are you feeling? I think five minutes yesterday for the other training was like too little time for me, so I think five hours is enough time. So what the contestants don't know is that they will actually each get five minutes of fun's time throughout the challenge, and they can use that at any point. Imagine like I do Michelle's and it's like one eyeball very realistic and the rest of the <laughs> That might be cool. Though. All she needs is that one good eye. I want to win money for my siblings. I don't know which one yet, so uh, maybe they'll have to sweet talk me and I'll pick from there. If you had to give one general piece of advice to all four artists, Artists, what would it be? The first hour is the most important because that's where you get all your shapes and your proportions down. It's much more important to have a great foundation before you get into shading. I wonder how much detail they're going to add because I have a couple pimples today, so I'm not looking the most attractive. So I wonder if they include that. I'm including all the pimples. I really want to win this challenge because I really want to win money for my little sister. She's a Sagittarius like me. They have been doing their portraits for approximately 22 minutes. It is time to announce the first twist of this video. At any point, you get Devon for five minutes. I want Devon. 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 I want Jake, so you call Devon's help first? Yes. You get five minutes. Your time's already started. You need to tell Devon exactly what you want. You can't just tell him to do the drawing for you. I need help with the proportions of the face, everything about it. What was wrong with Jake's drawing at the beginning? Everything. Huh? How are you going to use Devon? Map out my proportions? He had Devon completely start over so the shadows. I don't think Jake had him start over. I think Devon chose to start over. Hands up. How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling really confident. Does this look more accurate? Like the angle is just harder. This is like way easier. When I help you, you should have me like do that one. Here's your chair. Wait, Ben, are you using your five minutes already? Yeah. I think if you could just fix it up and then add the shadows. Do you think the nose is fine? No. David's portrait should, looks like the Chucky doll. You didn't even draw any of that. I think Devon did a great job, so. By the end of this, Devon's gonna be an expert at drawing me. Three, two, one, all right. Apparently all my proportions were wrong, so this was much needed. I think you need to measure out your proportions. I, I feel like I look like a Star Wars creature. That's why Devon's gonna come and help me really soon. That's Zach. That's the drawing. Huh? It doesn't look like Zach. I think I can come back from this. Everyone look up at the clock. It is time. We have our first challenge, so let's head to the other room. I'm so sorry. God, yours looks like Zach. You still have Devon's help. I want the middle, but Jake took it. I'm in the corner. Position is very important here. You do not want the corners. Well, great! In front of you guys are giant sheets of paper and a giant pencil. You guys will have three minutes to draw Devon's portrait. Devon, come sit over here. Wait, oh my God, okay, wait. <laughs> ah, I didn't learn this in class yesterday. <laughs> this looks not good. This is extremely hard. That's what she said. I gave him a big chin. Pick up the pencils. I don't think I captured right, so his beauty, Devon, guys. Oh, that was so hard. Devon and I are gonna go take a look at these pieces. I like the whole avatar look. Isn't like the airbender or avatar? Isn't like the blue people? <laughs> the eyes are very close together. <laughs> There's something really artistic about this that I like. I, I drew the hat instead of the eyebrows. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. I call it Picasso, Devon. See, I don't think this is one of Michelle's stronger ones. So Devon, pick your favorite one. I choose Jake. Yes! In your faces. Jake, since you're the winner, choose who's gonna be safe with you. You're Michelle. <laughs> All right, Michelle, you're safe. David and Ben, play rock, paper, scissors to see who has to use a giant pencil for 30 minutes. Bruh. I'm gonna do scissors. Oh, the mind oh, game. That's my tactic. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah. All right, Ben, what are you gonna do this time? Paper. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Let's go! We got the giant pencil for 30 minutes. Let's go back to the drawings. Well, I was kind of hoping Ben would get it because his drawing was so good. That was the most intense game of rock, paper, scissors I've ever played. I have to use this disgusting huge pencil. I feel like this is just an automatic like 30 minute time deduction. I think it's time to get Devon's help. You ready? But I want to restart. No! It looks like the biggest struggle from everyone at the moment are the proportions of my face. Something about my face being slightly lopsided. He's throwing everyone off. Oh, I definitely made Zach's face too big. I always see him as a little bit more chubby. Hey! So I actually feel like I've lost a little bit of fat. You have squishy cheeks. I, I've been hitting the gym regularly. Okay. Squishy cheeks. Time's up. It looks really freaking good. I gave good. you an extra 10 seconds to be nice because you need it. <laughs> 
in the kinetic sand video. I wasn't able to win money for my brother. Hopefully this time I'll be able to get the dub and get him some cash. Jake, I think this big pencil was an advantage. I think you should keep telling yourself that. I think I will. Everyone, it is time for challenge number two. Come with me. Oh for this next challenge, you guys will have five minutes to draw a turkey. You guys are gonna erase drawings of turkey, if that makes sense. Your time has started. I don't even have to look at turkey because I draw him for a living. Jake, you don't have a lot down. I'm getting a little worried for you. What do you mean? All right, final seconds. Come on, finish it up. Three, two, one. Erase this down. Shoot. Let's take a look at it. Michelle, cute. I like it. Jake, what, what is that? that? I don't Jake, want to talk about so it. Cute, David. Ooh, very nice, Ben. I think Ben's had a more creative element to it. He added his own touch. David copied turkey a little bit better, but I'm sorry, David. I'm gonna have to give it to Ben. Yeah! I like his better. That was a close one. I really need to start winning one of these mini challenges. How squishy is that? So squishy. Baby club. David, how cute does he look? He's the cutest. Well, you can get him at chcstore.com. All right, ah. someone catch him. Ooh. Oh, here's your advantage. On the face, there are a couple different features. There's the lips, the nose, the eyes, the ears. You can choose one feature to erase. Oh, someone else is drawing? Yeah. So you may not erase anything but that one feature. I already have my decision. It's Jake, isn't it? Who thinks of these things? The ironic thing to answer your question. Jake actually came up with this idea. Miss that nose, goodbye, Jake. Who's the rhinoplasty? Bye, nose. What is this? That's not the nose. Huh? Can you smell anything? Because <laughs> you don't have a nose. <laughs> not even gonna lie, I felt great to erase Jake's nose. Zach said I made him look like a K-pop star, but this is how I actually see him. Literally perfect. Okay. I don't think it's gonna be that hard to revive this nose, but it's definitely not ideal. I'm having a little bit of trouble. So now I'm gonna use Devon to come in and really give his face like the structure that it needs. Devon! Carve out the side of his face and like the jaw, because all of that's confusing. Yay! So, Portrait queen, help me. I think you need to give yeah, the eyes a little down more here. shading. I hope with Mackenzie's advice, I'll win. I'm gonna prove that I'm not a terrible artist. Just kidding, probably am. But I wanna be better than yesterday, at least. Personally, I'm getting kind of bored. Is it because of the drawings? <gasps> no, it's not because of oh, the drawings. Okay. <laughs> it's because it's taken a while. And so, I bought us a little toy. Oh, we go up onto the roof, and we can point it at their drawings and mess with them. Oh, perfect. So we have two of them. Oh, I'm gonna get the, this is restricted area. Not anymore. <laughs> this way, up here. I'm pretty sure we're authorized. Oh my god. This is crazy. Bruh. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm having so much fun messing with them right now. We did it for too long and then they all just looked up. Wait, I have an idea. I guess not big enough. Zach's being a child. We're not thinking that to get too far. Jake, how's your drawing going? That was dirty. Look at how wet that, that is. <laughs> I grabbed this right as I was I was throwing it, it was in the air, he grabbed it away and it hit the wood. <laughs> that was so rude. That was, was you. No, that was you! Zach, I restarted your left eye. You just look like a random Asian dude, and I realized I had to shift it left and make it bigger. I'm so impressed with your comeback. Are you? Yeah. All right, everyone, look up at the clock. Actually, I'm not sure why I told you to look up at the clock. We're actually gonna do a mini challenge. Follow me. Mini challenge. Trust me, Michelle, you're gonna wanna win this one. I think if you win this mini challenge, you can win this whole thing. <laughs> if I win it? Let's go, Michelle, I'm rooting for you. So in front of each one of you is a pencil and a pencil sharpener, and this is a stubby pencil. You're gonna sharpen your pencil until it gets to this size. First person to finish wins. You may begin. Jake, how is yours so messy? My little hand. And if you don't win, just don't get last. Is this it? Nope, not quite, okay, Jake. Give me, give Too me, short. Give me, give me that. Is it that? Is Let it me that? see. Nope. This, this, this. You got it, Jake. All right, okay. guys. You got it, Ben. Yeah. You got it, David. Okay. Michelle. For your disadvantage, you oh. see the stubby pencils on the floor? Yeah. You gotta use those. Are you joking? Nope. No, no Michelle. Not the stubby pencils. And for your advantage, you get to bump for five more minutes. Really? At any point. I didn't need the advantage. However, I really wish I didn't have to use the stubby pencils because that is a game changer. I asked Devon to do the hair, but he's actually just doing a little bit of everything, which I'm not complaining about. All right, Devon, time is up. Why don't you walk over to each person, give them one or two things they could work on for the final 20 minutes. Under his eye, it sh should be like more space of whites. I want you to win. Make the shadows darker. 
I don't know what else to say. It's not perfect. Add a shadow to like the yeah, middle of, high. yeah, where it like goes in a little bit. Okay. That shape where you have all black, make it as dark as possible. Fill in like every little spot. Everyone's doing really good. The competition is strong here between you two. I'm rooting for David and Jake, but since I coached Jake a little bit more, I'm rooting for him. <laughs> Sorry, David. I thought the stubby pencils were gonna be bad, and it actually helped darken my piece a little bit, so maybe I needed the stubby pencils. I would date him. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. All right, let's take a look at these. Here's how we're gonna judge them. Devon, Mackenzie, and I, we're gonna go around, look at each one of your pieces, and give it a score out of 10. Whoever ends up having the most points wins. We're gonna start with Ben over here. It looks overall exact. But I think the whole thing is like too gray. I feel like it should have more contrast. Uh, 6.9. Okay, I think the same thing as Devon, but overall I really liked the shading. 8.5. Oh, oh wow. Oh. I'm going to give you a 7. 22.4. 22.4 uh, for Ben. Hi, Michelle. What I love about it is the proportions are good. It looks like Zach. You should hang this in your home. A 4.8. Oh. And I think oh. Zach's lips look a little darker than in the reference. I gave you a five. Yay! Yes. Big improvement. I think everyone can agree on that. I would say yours looks one of the closest to mine in terms of proportions. So I gave you a 6.9. Yay! Yay. Was David, okay. I'm so happy that I told you to change the reference because Thank God. What you were doing on that last portrait was... I would have given you like a four. Yeah. I love that you got the dark shadows here, mm -hmm. the darkness of the eyes, the hair. 8.4. Yay! Bob, I really like the shading. The lips look really good. The eyes are good. 9.4. Yes! Oh my Thank goodness, you. that is a high score. Just like Devon, I am so glad you changed your reference because at some point I look like E.T. Yeah. You have some very nice highlights and I feel like when I step back it really pops out. I gave you an 8. Yay! Thank 25.9 for David. Okay, guys. Jake. I love how dark you went on the eyebrows, the eyes, and the hair. The jaw is awesome. <laughs> you did the jaw at the end! Well, I only had two minutes and I was working with this, so... <laughs> it looks amazing and you got a 7.7. .7. This was a really hard angle. But overall, you did really good, so I gave you a 7.5. Thanks. I think you did a good job. You took a couple L's this video, but I think you came back strong. You chose one of the more difficult angles and while I applaud you on challenging yourself, I think in this case, Certain parts that look like you struggle with in terms of proportion. I give you a 7.5, which means David, yes! come forward. You're the winner yes! of the challenge. <laughs> David, do you have anything to say to your sister before you pick a card? You're a queen and you're a Sagittarius, and I have to win you lots of money. In here are a ton of sheets of paper, anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. Whatever you choose, she wins. 5,000, 5,000. Oh! Oh! You want five grand for your sister?